Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and I want to start this video by showing you some footage from around my farm, something that I deal with here. The previous owners of this property were quite fond of using a variety of different kinds of weed control fabric or weed barrier or plastic cloth to try to suppress weeds around the landscape. It looks like they tried to cover it up initially with some mulch. Some of that mulch is eventually worn away. You see that the UV has taken its toll on this material and it starts to go into tatters in the garden. I first ran into this early on when I was trying to just plant some perennials in the garden and of course I get a couple inches down. I hit this barrier, I have to cut through it, I find that the soil underneath is in just really poor condition and so it's easy to conclude from seeing it in the past context that weed control fabric uh, doesn't do what it's supposed to do for very long in the garden and uh, it's a royal pain for future owners of your property. It just sits there as a lasting artifact of, uh, of what you did in your garden and it starts to get in worse condition and look really really ugly. So that being said there are times when ground cover fabric can be useful. I use it in production situations for my nursery and as a nursery a barrier on the top of gravel or on the top of uh, soil, it does serve a great purpose of trying to keep weeds and soil-borne pathogens away from the crops that are above it. But in the landscape, covered with mulch, it's a very, very short-term solution. Now you can see in the video that there's a they used a wide variety of different landscape cloths. The one you're more likely to run into these days is this fairly thin stuff. You can get this at the hardware store. It's very light, very thin, semi-permeable, looks like the water Water can go straight down through it and the water will go down through it but the organic matter won't and so I'm going to show you some footage here where I dug away at, in my regular garden with just mulch in it and you can see that what happens is that that organic mulch at the top begins to break down and it starts to improve the condition of the soil directly beneath it and that's what that's the natural soil profile thing where you get the organic matter at the top darker soil high up and then it goes back down towards parent material down below. If you look at this next piece of footage here you can see where I've removed this uh, long-term plastic that was sitting and creating a barrier. So the stuff above it is nice, is an, uh, nice and organic. It traps the organic matter up above but down below the soil is poor. It's very light colored uh, and you can even see that the uh, that the bindweed has been using the underneath underside of this plastic as kind of a place to throw its roots and uh, and extend beneath the plastic. So it really didn't serve the purpose and it does deteriorate the condition of the soil over the long term. Now where is the appropriate place to use landscape fabric like this? Well I guess what I will say is you get the benefit of it early on. So if you have something like uh, a perennial weed that's hard to control, something like couch grass or that bindweed I was just mentioning, you can get short-term control over those weed problems by raking away the area, covering it with a landscape cloth like this, and then mulching over top of it with, uh, with, with wood chips. Uh, for a short period of time that will control your weed problem. Over the long term this stuff starts to break down, uh, the more persistent weeds will find their way through it, and like I mentioned before, uh, the organic matter that accumulates above it starts to break down. And that organic matter uh, that starts to break down becomes a place where all of the new weed seeds that drop up above, all of the spreading weed seeds, actually just move in anyway. So you've basically lost your control of the weeds in that circumstance. Now let me show you a quick comparison between this cloth and the ground cloth that I use for my nursery and how they're used. Quick comparison here before I finish up is this is the stuff I found at the hardware store and hope you can get a good shot of that. It's basically almost see-through. It's um, very light, very, uh, it, it feels very tear resistant, but it's very light and uh, isn't going to last very long. It's going to break down in the landscape fairly easily. The other one that I want to show you is this, and this is the one that I've used as the ground cloth in this greenhouse here and you can see on this one I mean that's a very heavy material in comparison uh, it lasts a lot longer on something like this when I put it down I can usually get that to last about five years in a greenhouse maybe a little bit more uh, with some wear and tear on it so um, it will last a little bit longer so you can see how I've used it in the greenhouse here is that it acts as a barrier there's gravel underneath this but it acts as a barrier to stop uh, insects like ants that sometimes come up at the bottom of my greenhouse uh, it will stop 
stop uh, weeds from germinating on top of it, at least temporarily. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier to control uh, the soil-borne pathogens and the weeds that could come into this greenhouse. So in this circumstance, uh, very appropriate. Uh, between the two landscape fabrics uh, like this, the, the, the thinner one and the thicker one, uh, probably out in the landscape, well, I guess it depends on uh, how long you, you want it to last. If you want it to last a long time, maybe say underneath some rocks and you want it to be a permanent installation, you might uh, err on the side of the heavier landscape cloth. I think in general, uh, it's probably a good idea to stick away from the pure plastic ones. That's what I see as old ones in my landscape uh, that were, were just this impermeable plastic and I think it just does a number on the soil. Uh, you, the water can't pass uh, up and down and so um, it's it's a real mess plus it, it gets it gets very brittle over a length of time. That's all I have for you today on landscape fabric or weed control fabric. I think I'll entitle this video something along the lines of long-term pain for short-term gain because that's my viewpoint on it. I just don't see it as a as a long-term good solution in the garden. Of course, if you have a different viewpoint on that, if you've had some success using it, uh, love to hear from you. Drop your comments down below the video and thanks again for watching.